are two really cool statues right here. We are at one of my favorite places and one of the most interesting places in the entire world, the Hoover Dam in Nevada. This is the third in our series where we are working with the Department of Interior and touring the national parks and the monuments around the United States. So today they gave us special access. We are going to show you the dam, but places you. that you don't get to go on the tour. They're taking us on a special tour and showing us cool things that people don't usually see. Get ready for some awesomeness. Let's go. Look down there, Link. Whoa. Do not fall down there, Lincoln. No leaning. Yes. Off the tippy toes. Off the tippy toes. So there's a road that goes right on top of the dam and curves around the arch part. There's the water, and then on the other side, we've got the other side of the dam, but then right here just off the middle, you have these plaques and this big metal door. This is where the elevators are. We're going down under. This is just an elevator room. Look at that. It's I feel nice like we're in a bank It's vault. nice and cold in here. It's like golden elevator, and then outside, the road. Oh, there's the police. Type in the police. <laughs> Bye, Lincoln. See you at the bottom. Wait, no. We dropped 500 feet in that elevator. We're definitely underwater, I guess, what? technically. Oh. That's a cool tunnel. Echo! Okay, that's good, that's good. So once we walk out of this tunnel, we're going to be in the main station underneath because you see the dam, it curves. This is where the power is generated. Come check this out. Whoa. Giant turbines, right down there. What is this place? This is it, man. This is how two million watts of energy are produced a year. The water comes down, goes through the pipes, comes into these turbines, spins the turbines, and then is spit back out the other side. There's eight on the Nevada side and nine on the Arizona side. 17 in total. If there was all of a sudden an increased need and some one of the power customers said, we need more energy, within four seconds, they can flip on one of those and energy can start going through. Now down here, this little tiny red one, it doesn't look like much. This right here generates all of the power that's needed for the dam. This is a 1.2 ton copper thing that goes right in the middle of the generator and comes back down here with the magnets. And when this thing gets spinning, that's what generates the power. And that's what's inside of these giant generators. These are some pretty big cranes and they can lift things up if they need to fix things or replace things. That's what it looks like when they do open up the other valves and it spills out. This is the part of the tour where Lincoln gets a hard hat. It's on. Oh, my hair. All right, there we go. Safety first. Top five. All right, so that's where we were on the other side, on the Arizona side. Now we have our hard hats on because we're going down by the generators, the giant generators. Check this out. There's Lincoln. Lincoln, look how big, big that is compared to you. There's the generator. It doesn't really vibrate that much, which is kind of surprising. That is surprising. It's there's a lot of power going through that right now. Oh, it came out of the hole. Right. That's the one that powers all the dam. What's inside a giant generator that generates power and electricity for this entire dam structure? This. We just happen to be here when they're taking apart one of them. So you have these giant buckets that the water's going to push and spin this around, which in turn, those are all magnets that go all around. This is it. You're seeing inside of a giant generator right now. I can't believe we're here. That's what's inside of it. Yeah. That is. All right, I'm blown away. This is too cool. This is a massive piece of machinery right here. But this is where they come and they bring the turbines and they set them on here. You can see the grids down here on the machine. So the, mach the, the turbine will lock down into there. They can spin it. This giant machine will actually come down and shave the turbine, the turbine. Turbine or turbine? I always say that turbine. wrong. Turbine. Tur there are a lot of people that are consistently maintaining this dam and making sure that everything is flowing smoothly. I mean, this is a crucial part of the United States energy usage, pretty much for Nevada, Arizona, and even California. There's your giant generators right there. The question is, what's underneath the generators? What does it look like? We've got our earplugs because it's going to be loud.
with rocks. What it smells like? It smells like water. It does smell like water. There's a lot of water around us. This is one of the oldest damn tunnels we have. It only happens when the toilets flush. Oh, man. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that door. It's so dark. I can't see that, but that is a cool door. All right, see you later, buddy. Have fun over there. That is a moving door. Oh my gosh. What is this? This is it, Lincoln. Wow. Right now, we are near the penstocks, they call them. The penstock is the pipe that's 30 foot in diameter that all the water goes through those four towers, is fed into that, comes down, and then is fed into the turbines, and then it spits back out on the, on the other side. So pretty much every bit of Colorado River is all just from these pipes right here. This three inch diameter steel pin that's keeping those pipes together. It's, it's, it's hard to see. How heavy do you think this thing is? 30 pounds maybe? The Hoover Dam was completed in 1935, but they worked on it from 1931 to 1935. And it took buckets and buckets of concrete that they had to keep pouring in there. Surprisingly, nobody was buried in the concrete. One of the reasons why this spot was ideal is because the walls are all rock, and so they were able to blast out and make these diversion tunnels. It was a lot of work. If this area started to flood, the water pressure would push up against it so much that it, it, wouldn't, oh. it wouldn't come open. Goodbye, water pipe. If the water wasn't flowing through the generators right now and they needed to have the water go out, they would open up these valves right here and this, on the other side of this wall, is where the water would be shooting out of these pipes right here. Oh, that's where we are. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe we're down here right now. Yeah, okay, that's a pretty cool shot. Wow. Oh my gosh. Lincoln, all of this water that you're seeing right now go through the two penstocks, the one on that side and the one that we just barely saw. All this water. This is crazy. for this tunnel. Up above me is the air that feeds the penstock tunnel where those pipes are. Wow, we're dropping fast. Yeah, very, very fast. We were on the top a few minutes ago, now we're at the bottom. Confined space. Do not enter, permit required. I touched the butt. You touched the butt. <laughs> I touched the butt. <laughs> I'm touching it. There you go guys, there's the penstock, the bottom of it. We're down here, guys. We brought you. We're on top of it. The giant pipe that is full of water. Where are we going now, Lincoln? I have no clue. <laughs> We're just walking in a place that not many people have ever been. We're just walking through these tunnels. You don't want to know what's in there. That's where Batman lives. Look at that, there's like a rail track so that if they needed to haul heavy things in here, they could. Underneath the Hoover oh, Dam. Look at that. Oh, there's a bat. Oh, I told you that was Batman's cave. Did I not just say that? Wow. There's a bat. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> Confirmed. This is Batman's headquarters. Oh, you're going another one. Oh, there, yep, there he goes. Oh. Oh. We're in this little tiny hallway here. What do you see, Lincoln? What is it? Okay, this is a ladder that goes to the bottom of the world. We're walking to the end of this tunnel. This is the last place that we're going to. Check this out. We're in one of those little ventilation we're, things. We're in the ventilation in this side of the dam. Guys, look at this. Look down below. We're actually in it right now. This is the vent. What's inside Hoover Dam? We literally are right now. <laughs> We're in here. Oh, Whoa. that was cool. Oh. <laughs> that was not a good plan. Good job at spitting in your own face. That's, uh, that's my son. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is what this uh, video has come to. 
So that's everything that you need to see inside of the Hoover Dam. This was a really special tour. It was so awesome. If you haven't seen our other two videos that we've done with the Department of the Interior, this is our quest to go and see the national parks and the different things that are public lands, guys. These are, if you live in the United States and you wanna see this, this is your land. Go on a tour, go visit these places and let us know in the comments below what national parks have you visited? Which monuments have you visited? Let us know where else should we go? What else should we see inside of? This is a great adventure. Thank you. I think I've read about these statues once. If you rub the toes, they give you good luck. That's why they're all shiny. It's like never ending story statue. There's the toes. Rub. Oh, they're soft and smooth. Rub it, rub the big toes. Do it, Lincoln. The pinky. Oh, it's even better luck. Yeah, nice. Oh, 